Hello there, and that's my wife here, and I got another Legends of Room Terror video for you guys today. And today, I predict perfection as we're gonna be combining Zillion with Victor in a hell of a spicy deck, man. I am so excited to share this. I know a lot of you may have been expecting Zillion with Bilgewater since I did tease that in yesterday's video. But that was a failed experiment because I forgot the very important detail that time bombs do not trigger powder kegs. Because powder kegs only take into account spells and skills, not landmarks. And I kind of derped in that regard. But that wasn't the reason why I dropped the deck initially. I actually realized that later down the line. It turns out that if you combine Bilgewater with Shirima, besides make it rain, there's no reliable way to trigger powder kegs at fast speed, which is really disappointing. But maybe as the card pool expands, we could potentially see uh, that Runia combination with that archetype. But as of now, it feels like we are very far from that. So I dropped that, but I still wanted to showcase a Zillion deck. I wanted to build a new Zillion deck that wasn't Zillion Swain, even though I do want to revisit the archetype soon because I do believe I can optimize it and I can focus on other aspects like going all in with Arc Glenhorn synergy amongst other things. But like I said, I wanted to do something different and I came up with the idea of combining Zillion with Victor. It's a region combination and a champion combination combination that initially may not make as much sense but the more you think about it the more it just makes sense <laughs> i was searching for a synonym there but i i failed miserably ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is a all-in victor deck quite simply we're going all in on victor and we're trying to win with victor so we are incorporating incorporating zillion into the mix english to enable that to happen as consistently as possible. Zillion with a Predict can help us find Victor if we haven't been able to find him through our mulligans. And not only that, but the time bombs that he generates are created, which means that they help us level up Victor later down the line. And that's really important. I know I say, I say later down the line a lot. I'm, I'm trying to mix up my vocabulary a little bit with my deck text. You know, English is not my main language, but that's not an excuse at this point. So uh, I'll be working on that. So yeah, as I was saying, this is a deck that's all in on Victor. And there's a lot of very neat things that we get out of combining Victor with Shurima. The main thing is Inner Sanctum, the Lucky Find specifically. Inner Sanctum played on Curve into turn four Victor allows us to generate a couple of Lucky Finds. The turn we play Victor, we get Give these buffs onto Victor, which by the way, there's like a total of nine different buffs. So it's not like all the potential keywords possible. Like I believe three of them are stat boots, like plus two, plus two power, plus two health, and plus one, plus one. And then there's six different keywords and they are fearsome, spell shield, challenger, um, tough, fearsome, challenger, spell shield, tough, Quick attack, and I forget the last one. If you guys know what the last one is, let me know. But uh, there's no lifesteal, there's no elusive, so keep that in mind. The thing is, with this deck, we try to utilize the Lucky Finds onto Victor before we play the Hex Core upgrade that we generate with them. Because this means that we can fish for keywords like Spell Shield and Challenger so that we can enhance our chances of uh, pulling out... Uh, something different with the hex score upgrade. Normally, you want to play hex score upgrade first with Victor decks, but in this deck, most of the time you want to play it last because there's a lot of a lot of other things that we can do beforehand, right? Not only the lucky finds, but also the fact that we have a full set of soothsayer. So if we have soothsayer in hand, we can play soothsayer to give the spell shield to Victor and potentially Zillion as well if he's on the board. And then we go for the Hexcore upgrade so that we don't get a redundant double spell shield technically. Because if we play that first, then we can get spell shield and then Soothsayer is left not really doing anything, right? So uh, keep that in mind. The idea is that with Zillion, we can uh, set up the time bombs. With all these predicts, we can potentially level up Zillion. And level up Zillion makes a lot of sense in this deck as well. Because the fleeting cards that it creates are, in fact, created. Which means that they can contribute to Victor's level up. And if Victor is leveled up, they will all cost one mana cheaper. Which is pretty crazy if you think about it, right? So on top of all this, we have Chrono Shift as a one-off, which can help us en enable protection for Victor uh, alongside the spell shield generation and alongside the one-off of Rite of Negation. This card comes into play especially versus control decks, but also against combat-based decks that aren't like turbo, right? Against aggro, aggro is arguably our worst matchup because the metagame is really fast right now. And uh, if we don't manage to get lifesteal with Victor, we can be in, in big trouble. But funnily enough, if we do manage to generate lifesteal early on, then we can completely shut them down, right? It's just a matter of, you know, believing in the heart of the... In the heart of the upgrades, I'm, I'm going to go with that. 
And that is the deck list, ladies and gentlemen. We have a couple of copies of Profiteer, which is introducing a new expansion uh, as a bit of an extra four drop that can give us lucky finds on top of having a really solid body to engage in combat with. We have a full set of Psy Scout instead of stuff like Aspiring Chronomancer to smooth out our curve, give us a solid three drop to go for besides the Inner Sanctum. And also a unit that's very easy to get elusive with because we're playing a full set of Inner Sanctum, we're playing Preservarium, we're playing Ancient Preparations, and because of the time bombs generated by Zillion himself. So getting a, a three mana 2-4 with elusive is actually really neat and worth the extra mana, especially because there's quite a bit of elusives running around, not only from Ionia, but from stuff like Tarkin, etc. right? We have a, a full set of, sorry, a couple of copies of Aftershock, a one-off of Get Excited, and a full set of Mystic Shot to allow us to control the opposing board with damage. Uh, we include Thermogenic Beam in this description. These can also deal burn damage and potentially finish off the opponent, and we also have the ability to interact with Landmarks, which has uh, quite a lot of bit of utility here. There's some Talia, sorry, some Lissandra decks running around right now, that we can shut down with Aftershock completely. And we can also take down the uh, Emperor's Days. Is that how you say it? I, I, I forgot how to pronounce that card, honestly. And that is a decklist right there. Also, shout outs to Mechanized Mimic as a one-off. I would like to run this as a two-off, but the metagame is a little bit too fast for her. So uh, as a one-off is, is just enough. And she can be an alternate win condition that can support Victor in our you know, route to victory as we are going all in, like I said, on Victor and Mechanized Mimic and copy all of his boosts. It can also get elusive from the Psy Scouts that we play on turn three as well. So, uh, or other turns potentially too. And that's basically it. Put a lot of thought into this deck. We have some nice disruption with Quicksand and also the Scrying Sands to help us out against aggressive decks and also potentially shut down certain quick attackers amongst other things. And the Quicksand is just really good. It's like Shirima's own version of Hush. And I do very much like it, especially in a deck like this. And uh, yeah, all right, seven minutes. That's good enough for a deck tech. Put a lot of thought into this deck and really wanted to go down over it. The objective is to, no matter what, find Victor on turn four. And like I said, all these predicts can really allow us to make that happen. Ideally playing Inner Sanctum on turn three and curving into Victor on turn four so we can go turbo turn four onwards. And yeah, I have some really cool gameplay for you guys today. I think you're really going to enjoy it because the matches are just absolutely fire. And uh, I got a lot of diverse matchups as well. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let the gameplay speak for itself. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll be back at it tomorrow with another counter to Irelia Azir, which is a little bit outside the box. It's not what you would expect. And uh, I got some spicy lists, you know, in, in the brewing moments. I, I don't know how to phrase that. But they're, they're getting ready. And uh, hopefully I, I'll be sharing them all throughout this week. So yeah, love you. Have a whole day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I predict mixed results. I mean, this deck is not well geared for aggro, even though we have a lot of tools to slow down aggro. Like some, some decks in the meta are just incredibly fast paced. So, you know, there's only so much we can do, right? We're gonna keep the Asian preparations. Uh, I like the Mystic Shot as well. It can allow us to stop a Zoe early on. I don't. I don't mind this the Psy Scout either. I am gonna drop the the Scry and Sands though for now. But I don't mind these predict options because they can allow us to enhance our chances of actually finding Victor, since they all have him before Victor on Kurt. But that's one of the main objectives. We gotta find Victor. If we don't see Victor, we skip. I mean, that's not always the case. But you get the gist of it. Oh, there, there's your boy. Alright. Knock out Zoe. We don't need to play the Psy Scout now because we do have a blocker. Attack, pass over initiative and see. We're gonna pass back because we want to be able to do start using our our augmentations. So we play Victor on curve and we see we can get rolling. I like the idea of playing Zillion and Susir next next round. We see uh like the potential. I think my opponent may be thinking about using a Sonic Wave. <laughs> Now I am going to use this. Alright. Okay, so 
So I'm gonna do this first. No, 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 not, not you. Sorry. You. <laughs> Profiteer is not bad. Maybe a good card to play next turn. I'm gonna skip though. The key is depending on me. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Waters, protect our prosperity. We gave spell shield and then we go for that score upgrade so we don't get a redundant spell shield. We have the quicksand. We got a lucid. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think I just want a chrono shift here. Not in my city. He needs like double hush or sonic wave into hush. Which would suck, but very specific cards that he needs. In hand. Okay. No, actually, Sonic Wave doesn't do it. Never mind. Like, Sonic Wave can't interact my. Eh. He's fishing! We're going in. Genius in action! <laughs> the fierce Yes, of course. He may develop a gem to protect against this. Conflict is all in the mind. We're gonna give this Lee Sim player a bit of a, a bit of his own medicine, really. How do you like this uninteractive combo, bitch? If he plays, if he plays something to disrupt the spell shield. The oasis of the dawn. We play yes, Soothsayer again. Forcing him to go for a gem and then we quicksand for the win. <laughs> Perfection! Yeah, you, you need you need to you need to gem, because I have fearsome. I mean, just in case I'm gonna do this. I don't know what he was trying, but ain't gonna work. No sharp side in this region combination. No potential combo to stop this. He could try to get cheeky and give this like a special buff to block into me or something, but I'm denying that. I'm taking away the elusive. And I'm taking it home, baby. Because you can definitely expect, you know, like a pale cascade or something to enable this to block into the fearsome. So we take away that that chance proactively. And we shut him down. I think it, it's sinking in. <laughs> it's sinking in. <laughs> he doesn't want to believe it, but it's happening. Oh. <laughs> mm. Perfection. All right, let's see how we do against Irelia Azir. Been a bit worried about this matchup. It's like I've had a, a tremendous amount of uh, playtesting, but uh, we're gonna try the following. We're gonna keep the Inner Sanctum because the Inner Sanctum can be a, a very Solid play onto Victor, but we, we have to try to find Victor, right? We want to keep Zillion and the Inner Sanctum because this is a very good card to curve into. We see a, a pretty strong mulligan there. Hopefully, our opponent doesn't have a crazy opener. This is a good card to draw, Scrying Sands. Alright.
All right, Zillion. Can you help me up here, buddy? There we go. Time is winding. Like a watch. All right, we can definitely expect a strong attack next turn. But it can only be so strong, you know? Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Uh, I want to play a little bit of my games here. Just a moment. We play a Sanctum. Flesh is of weakness we must share. And now we play Victor with double lucky fine. How'd you do that? <laughs> Tough. This will allow us to block into the Sand Soldiers, no problem. Genius! No materials, no improvements. Next time. We knock that out. I would like a, a death right here. Keep running, Kay. Walk softly. <laughs> the order is given. Jerima is send in sky. Past Let's get that health back, shall we? <laughs> So beautiful, dude. Ah! Oh! Let's carry over the spell banner. Oh, baby. Spell shield. Give me scout. Give me scout. Come on, baby. Give me scout. Quick attack. All right, I'll take that. I don't mind this. I'm gonna I wanna keep this this mystic shot. Fury! Oh! We're Shivana now! Now we back at three. To block with this here. To block with this here. Yeah, it's fun. Bit it, bit it. I'm so happy he's going in the video, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's take a preservary. Why not? 
That way we get the elusive as well. Beautiful! Will rise! What you got for me, Victor? I don't even know what I got there. Elusive, I got elusive. But I mean, I got the challenger here. I hope he didn't get like a, he didn't top deck a homecoming, man. That'd be really frustrating. <laughs> don't want any trouble. I mean, that's a huge hit. So he has to play it now, but I mean, like I said, that would just contribute to growths for me. <laughs> it is time! For nothing! I just want to predict here. We got the spell shield. I, I gotta go all in, baby. Regeneration. <laughs> Make me bigger! More! More size and power! Genius in action! <laughs> oh, I forgot I have quick attack. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. <laughs> oh, oh man, two in a row. Oh my god, that was perfect. Thank you for coming to my video. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I was thinking about a TED talk, and I have no words. <laughs> Round three. Easy Draven. Keeping Victor alive will definitely be a challenge in this one, but we do find... I, I like the Chrono Shift, honestly. But I'm going to go ahead and drop all of these, including the Chrono Shift. Just because if I draw into another zillion, I can find it. I mean, keeping the Chrono Shift could be ideal, though. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. It, it's... it's. We revolve more around... <laughs> Now, then, or soon. I have the best job.
Science. Kali Strike. Thermogenic Beam as well. Like, this, this matchup will be tough. But maybe there's a world in which he doesn't have any immediate answer. Ooh. Let's try to see if we can find the, uh... Spell shield. Yes. This will help. Let's make this a night to remember. I can bob my spell shield with that. Surprised he resorted to this. It's maybe because he, he may have a um this is a way to, to deal with that. But I'm gonna make it hard for him to remove Victor. Genius in action. Ah. Fuck. Fuck. I wish I had a um Oh well. Oh man, that's good cool as well. Ah, this is tough. This matchup is tough. It's very hard to keep Victor alive, even with Spell Shield. Um, I'll check for their side. can always try again. Damage, right? So we have to do this. That sets this up, um, both of these up for a, a white next turn. I gotta wait out on Victor here. He's already played one thermogenic beam. But he has another one, alright. He may open attack and I'll just react with a mystic shot. Suitsayer. Man, it's too much removal. Too much removal. Let's do this. You are not welcome. It's 
kind of late for a right of negation. Hello, world. I'm Saifa. Oh, but let me have a look here. Quicksand, which is really neat. Okay, so we have this and this. See through someone else's eyes. I want to play the mechanized mimic first because I'm actually I'm okay with this going down. He's already played two tribe and probably leaders. Calling strike will one shot me anyways. But anything that deals four damage at this point deals five. Like it's it's In case he has like double mystic shot or something. Answers, man, like all of them. <sighs> okay. Let's see if I can find spell shield. All the answers. All the answers. Bro, my God, impossible! <laughs> like we 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 kept trying, man, but actually impossible. Let me see. Oh my God, dude! Oh my God, it's insane, man. He had like every answer in the book. <laughs> triple, triple tribe in private leader. <laughs> like, god damn, dude. My lord. All right, GG. <laughs> I, I think the matchups are just not meant to be. Like, oh my god, man. Like every answer in the book, like every single, like they never ran out of, out of cards. It feels crazy, dude. Because it's not every time you face Easy Draven that they come at you with triple improbulator with value. You know, it's, we tried. We definitely tried. We, we didn't have a, we have a, a solid set of draws, man. But I, I guess that matchup is just unwinnable. Let's go for another one. This will be an interesting one because in this one, we actually have time. We have time. We keep the ancient preparations, drop everything else. I love that random negation. Even though it's a one-off, it's there for matchups like this. Gotta focus. Dude, Zillion's emote is, by the way, like, top tier. S rank, perfect. But we need to find Victor, there we go. Spot. Find some like zillion or something here, or that. That works too. Good. I need something to do this turn. And getting some extra card draw goes a long way. Safeguard our homes. We could have a a vengeance and go for it. All right. It's annoying. To be expected, but it's annoying. 
like this immediately on. Let's see if we can find another one. That's that's bad. Didn't expect them to. Okay, never mind. I'm good at the game. <laughs> Easy peasy. Metalist perfection. Elusive, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not gonna interact with this, giving him more card draw. I'm gonna ignore it. Not particularly concerned about that. I like this Chrono shift as well. All right, all right, we're 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 in business now. We just need to uh, to do things right here. I'm gonna block you. Up there, in the there in the mountains! Let's go with the X4 upgrade. Get fearsome. Alright. Now let's play you. Let's predict a little bit. I'll check for their side. We're not escaping. <laughs> They said I can be whoever I want. You already are, and so much more. Can't really ruinate. We're gonna play the mechanized mimic because we want to start pumping her as well. Beautiful. So beautiful. Got the chrono shift as well. Double spell shield, baby. We're going in. That does not stop our. That does not stop our our spell shield. By the way. Tough. Nice. We're gonna play the profiteer. I will bury the world in ice. Let's get Challenger in there. Because Challenger allows us to get something else here as well, potentially, like Scout. Fifteen damage here. We got lethal. We gotta do something. And we have this get excited in the back. Oh. Double flash freeze. Alright. Alright. Well then we're gonna do this. Reserve our 5 3 on the board. We still got the chrono shift, and we can knock out Lysandra with the thermogenic beam to prevent the watcher. 
if somehow they had... I don't, I don't know how they could do it, but just in case. We got the Chrono Shift. Oh my, what mo. Shindaro! <laughs> Kill me? You just make me stronger, bitch! <laughs> Alright, see what we get? Spell shield? Give me that spell shield, baby. What is this? What did I get? I don't even know anymore. You could have another Renatius or we're attacking. We're going in. Brought to life! Fuck yeah. You know, four games. Another case in which Ezreal Draven just dunks on us. I gotta stop making decks that are weak to Ezreal Draven. But I mean, all fun decks are weak to Ezreal Draven, I think. But uh, that was sick as hell, man. I, I honestly did not expect these sort of results. Because, you know, this deck, uh, it is dependent on card draw. Like, you need to find Victor on curve, right? But man, if it goes off, it goes off and it's beautiful. So, again, if you're trying to ladder specifically, if, if all you care about is climbing rank as fast as possible, this is not the deck. You know, keep that in mind. It's for you, Timmy. But it's fun as fuck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.